Hey Speechies, it's Sarah, and I want to tell you all about how you can use AI, generative AI like in ChatGPT, to make your life easier as an SLP. There's two ways that you can use ChatGPT, and then I'm going to end with one thing you should definitely not use ChatGPT for. So the first way is to have it generate materials for speech. And so how you can do that is ask the ChatGPT, or there's also Bard by Google. Um, there's multiple different ones that you can find out there. And you can say, hey, please generate a list of our words in sentences, and then it'll spit it out for you. I would definitely go through it with a little bit of a fine tooth comb to make sure that the words are the ones that you want and could really help. For example, if you're working with a student that's just getting at the word level, you probably don't want words like root, where you usually lip round on the ooh sound. And that's a thing that ChatGPT can't do for you. Like it doesn't have that clinical expertise with respect to um, facilitating contexts of speech sounds. But you could have it generate a list of passages that you'd like the child to read or grade level uh, reading for reading comprehension goals or listening comprehension goals or asking WH questions after a story. You can have that story generated by ChatGPT or the like. Generative AI is wonderful in that it can really make some of those tasks a little bit easier for you. The second way that you can use generative AI like ChatGPT would be for administrative tasks. So if there's a form letter that you would like to send to parents or you don't know how to write it, or if you're in like a private practice or clinical setting, getting a letter of medical necessity written, those can be kind of annoying. And, and if you don't have a model, which you may have a model from your workplace, but if you don't, you could start by having ChatGPT make one for you and you can then tweak it. I always find just with tasks like that, well, it's easier for me to have an example or some kind of framework outline to go from instead of having just a blank page. So definitely use ChatGPT for some of those administrative tasks that are very rote and easily done by a machine. On the flip side, and it kind of connects, is that if you're doing personalized tasks for the student or client, you want to make sure that those are individualized and you wouldn't use ChatGPT for tasks like writing reports. So that's where your clinical judgment comes into play and it is personalized for that student and or client. You're not going to ask ChatGPT to write you a report about somebody that obviously you need to do that as a speech language pathologist. So I would definitely move away from anything that's individualized, but those rote boring admin type tasks are great for ChatGPT. And like I said at the beginning, you can also have it generate materials for you, especially for those older clients that maybe don't need as many visuals. Just have the machine just come up with lists, passages, etc., that can really help make your life just that much easier. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video.